Marriage is sweet. I can't imagine my life without my mercy. She breathes oxygen into me. But let's be honest. A lot of people suffer in their marriages silently. They are going through hell where they are supposed to be loved. The one who is supposed to love and adore them tears them emotionally, abuses them, insults them, and pulls them down. Believe me, Fred, a lot of marriage problems began before the marriage. Someone saw the red flags and they ignored and they thought they are going to fix that guy when they get married. Forget it. If you imagine you're going to change the man after you get married, you're living in deception. Don't ignore the warning signs, the red flags. A broken relationship is better than a broken marriage. Trust me, you would rather go through life single than with someone who abuses you. Someone who tears you down and makes you feel worthless and valueless. Let me share with you some 10 red flags. When you're dating a man, lady, watch out for these red flags. If you notice them, run for your life. Number one, his dating profile does not match him. This guy is not authentic. Why is he having pictures of imaginary people? How many other profiles is he having? This is a player. Someone who is honest authentic they have nothing to hide and even when you go out with them they are likely even to post that picture on social media because they do not have someone else they are seen at the same time but crooks have many profiles and an explanation for it the second red flag he is too secretive you are with this guy, but you literally don't know him. He keeps you in the dark. You don't, have, you don't really know what he does. You really don't know his job or his business. You have vague ideas. Maybe he tells you he's in security or he's in computers or maybe he's in business, but you still can't tell exactly what this guy does. You don't know where he lives. You don't know where his house is. You don't know his friends and family. He keeps you totally in the dark. That's a red flag. Number three. Hey, before I give you number three, kindly, 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 subscribe to my YouTube channel. I know you love me, you honor me, I love you too. And that's why I keep inspiring you. Let's encourage each other. And I'm requesting to encourage me by just hit, hitting that subscribe button. Just hit it right now. That's the best way you can inspire me and also support me to continue inspiring you. Let's encourage each other, please. Let's, let's encourage each other. Kindly, kindly. Just hit the subscribe button. It won't cost you anything, but it will add a lot of value to my YouTube channel. Can you do that for me? Thank you so much. The third red flag. He doesn't call you, nor does he return your calls. He is unreliable. He has unreliable behavior. You can't predict him. You feel like you're the one pushing for this relationship to work. While the man should be the one pushing the relational agenda. This feels like a burden squarely on your shoulder. This is a guy who doesn't respect you. And you st if you start dragging him right now into your life, even if you got married, in the unlikely event you got married, you will drug him for the rest of your life. Number four, he describes all his exes as crazy. There is no one he talks good about. What makes you believe he will talk good about you? You don't even feel like you measure up to his standards and expectations. You have to run to the moon and back to massage his ego. He has unsearchable desire for being affirmed. You have to deal with his past traumas. He's throwing all his emotional baggage to you. He has something bad to say about all his exes. He's the only angel 
everyone else he has encountered is a devil. Hey, this kind of a guy is dangerous. He worships his ego. He worships himself. This is a narcissist. Run for your life. Number five, he is rude to people. If you meet a guy, he's rude to the waiter. He's rude to the Uber driver. He's rude to the janitors. Rude to the security guards, rude to the receptionist. My goodness, what makes you think he'll treat with you honor and dignity? How somebody treats one person is the way they treat everyone. Yes, how your work ethic is revealed wherever you go. How you perform one task is how you perform all tasks. Lazy people are lazy people wherever they go. Rude, arrogant individuals are rude and arrogant he's just masking for the time being to box you in to get you right into his life and then mess you good if you found him rude to all the people around in the service industry oh my goodness believe what you've seen not what he's acting and what he's pretending he's a rude guy number six the relationship moves too quickly there is so little conversation but so much push to go to bed. So much push for sex. He doesn't want to know you. He, he, he doesn't want you to know him. There is no engagement. There is no discussion about the future, about your career, possibly where you're going to live, children you're going to get, how you're going to handle your in-laws. You're not discussing about money, what he earns, how he earns. He's not discussing about your career progression. Should you see your pastor? And other stakeholders that are important in your marriage because you can't succeed in marriage as an island. You need the support system of the society. If you find a relationship moving too quickly, too fast, you've just met and things are so fast, always leading to bed. That's a red flag. This is someone who is ready to use you and dump you. Or maybe he's looking for something else. Maybe you, he's an immigrant and he's looking for papers. Maybe he's looking for a, a deal and he wants your money. He's a con man. People look for different things in relationships. You need your antennae a lot. Hey, this is another red flag. Number seven, he intimidates you. If you meet a guy with anger outbursts, I mean, he has no emotional control. He can call you names, he can shout, he can scream at you. He makes you feel unworthy. He doesn't feel, you don't feel valued. You don't feel worthy anymore. He puts you down, even in a teasing way. He's always pushing you down and pulling you down. Every time you meet him, you feel empty and useless. He loves gaslighting you. What's that? Gaslighting is emotional manipulation. Someone who makes you doubt your sanity. He questions your intelligence. He denies what he has just said and makes you think you are running nuts. A good man is the one who lifts up your soul, who uplifts your heart, who inspires your life, who encourages you, who makes you feel more beautiful, much better. A good man is a guy who makes you feel sweeter after meeting him. You feel more inspired after encountering him. But crooks, they deflate your energy. They pull you down emotionally. That's a red flag. And that's not a man to entrust the rest of your life. Number eight. You don't feel safe with him. You just can't say what? You can't put your heart on it. But your sixth sense. As a woman, you have a very sharp sixth sense. What we call the conscience. There is an inner voice and an inner witness that tells you something is not right. This guy makes you feel shaky and nervous and sweaty, unsure of yourself. You don't even want to introduce him to your family and friends. You have some goosebumps. He makes you feel a little bit jittery. You're not, you don't feel safe. You don't feel secure. You don't feel like you trust this guy. You don't feel confident you just can't say what you can't put your head on it but something tells you something is wrong yes it's wrong if you feel it's wrong something is wrong 
Yes, number nine, number nine, constant arguments and quarrels. Every time you meet this guy, there is always an argument. The slightest issue is always blown out of proportion. And this guy never apologizes. He can't say sorry. He's full of pride. He's arrogant. He's full of himself. He doesn't know how to say sorry. He never admits he's in the wrong. My goodness, a marriage is a union of two forgivers. If a guy can't say sorry when you're dating, what makes you believe he will apologize when you're married? What makes you believe he will say sorry when you're married? Don't ever forget this. Men put their best foot forward when they are dating. The true self comes out when you get married. So if he cannot say sorry when you're dating, run for your life. Number 10 and the last one. He doesn't share your values. He doesn't know what is honesty. He lies, white lies, silly lies, annoying lies, even lies that are not needed. Lies that can't even help him. And he doesn't listen to you. Your opinions don't matter. Your decisions don't matter. Your feelings don't matter. Your interests don't matter. If he likes soccer, you must watch soccer. What about your interest? He can't take you to the supermarket. He doesn't care about what you like, whether it's makeup, whether he's buying new outfits. He actually speaks against your interests. Think about that. What is marriage for? If it's not convergence of values and interests and hobbies and career ambitions. He is a guy who even attacks you when you go to church. He interferes with your way of worship and your relationship with God. He has a comment, a negative comment about your interests, your hobbies, your desires, your opinions, your decisions. Run for your life. If I blessed you in this video, let me know what you learned. Give me a comment. Let me just know one thing you learned from this video. And kindly, kindly, kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel. Help me to continue inspiring you. Will you do that for me? <laughs> Thank you so much. And God bless you. May God be with you in your dating.